Hello everybody, this will be a quick Bitcoin and Ethereum update on Sunday, May 15th. I'll also throw in a Solana analysis too, along with this. So anyways, I'm on the 24 minute time frame right now, and it looks like we've just been trading sideways this whole weekend. Just been bouncing around between this monthly level uh, and this old daily level. Um, so it'll be interesting if we do break above this old daily level, as that will be pretty bullish. On the resistances on the way up here, it looks like we got an old weekly in the July value area low. And that is coming in between 31,750 to about 31,450. If we break above that, I'd like to see us reject off of this golden pocket at around 32,590 roughly to 32,300. If we break above that, it looks like we can come above uh, to this naked daily and the weekly open at around 34,375. And then again, we do have more uh, confluence up here at around 37,000. That'll be uh, pretty good uh, day trades up there. Anyways, just looking at support, we have this local golden pocket at around 28,260. There is also a naked daily point of control um, at around 27,875. So it could be a possibility that we do reject down to this area um, just on a Sunday night dump kind of, and then we just kind of resume up from uh, on Monday. Also just some uh, supports if we do end up losing this low at around 26,450. This is a very key level. If we end up losing this level, I do expect us to come down to and fill the, up these supports. There is a support of a naked weekly point of control at around 23,760. Also kind of a daily, um, kind of sort of a uh, confluence zone anyways. Um, below us here is a more um, important support and that is around 19,177. This is the weekly and a naked weekly point of control and a daily point of control. Um, and so that is in between 19,260 to 18 grand. Um, really, that is really the last resort of support um, that I'm really looking at. Moving on to Ethereum. Um, again, I drew a golden pocket from the swing low to the swing high up here. Uh, we've just been trading sideways for quite some time. So it could be a possibility that we come down to this golden pocket at around 18 or 1863. There is also this whole golden pocket that we've just been bouncing out of. So it could be a possibility that we kind of range in here and then pump up. Also, just the key level for this is 1690. If we do end up losing that, I do expect this to come down lower. Lower is 1422, that is support number one. Then of course, support number two is this 1100 ETH as it is a 786 from this move down. And Ethereum has been respecting 786s a lot more that I've noticed uh, compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin likes golden pockets, Ethereum likes 786s. So something to keep in mind. Anyways, a golden pocket at around 2161. Uh, not too much confluence here. There is the previous July value area low, but if we come up to the 786 right here at around 2300, I do expect a somewhat of a rejection out of here as this was a range value area low, 786.5 July range point of control and a monthly level. So a lot of confluence there. Also, there is this golden pocket along with a tapped weekly and a naked daily point of control. Nice confluence here at around 2,500. Then of course we do have up here at around 2,775 to 2,830. Um, just very nice confluence of a possible short possibly. Moving on to Solana now. I drew a golden pocket from the swing low down here, key level of a daily at around 37.67 to the local swing high. And we're just getting a nice golden pocket at around this 44.14 level. 
also a daily level, so very nice confluence. On our way up, we have this local golden pocket at around $61. Above that, we have a 786 and a 0.5 and a daily level at around $66 to $67. We also have a golden pocket up here at around $73. And if we do a break above that, expect this to come up to about the $100 range, $101, where we do have a golden pocket up here. Um, other than that, really not too much confluence. Again, Solana, um, I'm kind of more day trading and swing trading this compared to scalp trading as it is a lower, kind of a lower market cap compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. But there might be a possibility where I take scalps in the future. Um, I just want to see more data points as we continue trading. But the support, if we do end up losing that $37 level, is this $27 as it is a daily and weekly. So about 27 to 26 roughly. And then really the last thing I have on my chart is this $23 level, it looks like. So again, just uh, very important supports to be aware of. Looking at market cipher B, let's see what's going on. We do have a very deep anchor wave on the daily level at around negative 92. Same as with the two day. So that is usually a good sign of somewhat of a bottom pattern. If we go to the Coinbase chart, you can see that over time when we had these very deep anchor waves, Really, the last time was March 2020, um, May, then really uh, January. It was kind of a significant bottom, really, if we do look at the daily and the two-day. Moving on to the weekly, though. Weekly, it kind of looks bad. However, if we do kind of pump up, I do expect this momentum to kind of come down. And then we'll have an anchor wave. So it could be a possibility that we have an anchor wave within two to three weeks, possibly. Um, that could be a very good sign of a bottom, usually. Same with the two week, could get a possibility of a anchor wave or a pretty deep trigger wave, uh, which is a good sign of a momentum reset. And then the monthly VWAP is kind of coming down over time. So anyways, that's it for the... Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana analysis. Maybe I'll start doing Solana analysis uh, mixed in with these daily updates in the future. Just let me know in the comments down below and uh, have a good rest of the weekend. All right. Thank you. Bye.